And as the entire nation continues grieving over the Nashville school shooting here in Ohio, teachers in our neighborhoods are grappling with questions about safety. First at four, Stephen Hernandez tells us what teachers say they need. As long as we as a society continue not to address effectively the issue of gun violence, we're going to see this everywhere. Teachers in Cleveland are once again asking serious questions about safety after the school shooting in Nashville that took the lives of three adults and three children. Today, I visited the Cleveland Teachers Union to learn more from inside the school system. Sherry Obrensky, the union president, explained that she was a teacher back during the Columbine shootings, and those conversations don't get any easier. It never gets less shocking. Unfortunately, it just gets more frequent. Mm -hmm. Rosa Cruz Morales is also a teacher at Lincoln West High School. She says questions about safety are even reaching parents. You know, the families are like, we're not going to send our kids to school if it's not safe. Both members admit having these conversations is challenging, but they also say now is the time for action. Obrensky says she already sees potential solutions, everything from background checks to assault weapon bans that can help reduce gun violence. But she says it's up to our elected officials to make sure these changes happen. They, they don't seem to have the political will to fix it. It's a political holdup that is making many teachers reconsider their careers altogether. You have teachers that are like, hey, I'm ready to retire. This continues. If the government's not going to do anything about protecting our kids and protecting our schools, why do I want to be here? As leaders across the country continue to reel and determine the next steps, teachers like Cruz will move forward. Confident schools will be safer. I want to be hopeful because otherwise I wouldn't be where I'm at. In downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19.